and welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus and a happy new month to you as it is the 1st of September 2023. I'm Nikhil Shini and these are the headlines. Ronald D. Hill denies part in alleged $61 million crypto scam. OKX plans to enter into India. SEC delays decision on six spot Bitcoin ETF applications. Kenyan blockchain experts are challenging the legality of the cryptocurrency tax. Upcoming events and more to come. Quickly on the market rates today, Bitcoin is at $26,000, Ethereum is at $1,600, BNB is at $214, Solana is at $19, and the dollar scenario rates at $903. Now let's get your data on the Crypto Weekly News. But first off, retired pro soccer star Ronald Dio Gaucho has testified at a congressional hearing in Brazil denying his involvement in an alleged $61 million cryptocurrency pyramid scheme that bore his name. On the 31st of August, Ronald Dio appeared before a parliamentary committee inquiry where he refuted any role in the scheme called 18K Ronald Dio that promised 2% daily returns on cryptocurrency. A lawsuit was filed against the firm seeking $61 million in damages. Ronald Dio claimed he was never partnered with the company and it used his name and image without his authorization, arguing he was also a victim of the proposed scheme. He said the pictures were taken as part of a contract he signed in July 2019 with a subsidiary of the company that sells watches, but that contract was terminated later that year in October and was never executed. The inquiry's president, Oreo Ribeiro, asked Ronaldinho if he intended to embust those who invested in the company, to which Ronaldinho said he would remain silent. He also did not answer when asked about the $61 million lawsuit. During the hearing, images were shown of 18K Ronaldinho's marketing and depicted Ronaldinho. Next up, the cryptocurrency exchange OKX plans to enter the Indian market and recruit local employees in an effort to expand the possibilities of Web3 applications, according to a report. OKX Chief Marketing Officer Haider Rafiq said the company plans to scale up its wallet services exponentially via entrance into India's developer community. He continued saying there are currently 200,000 OKX wallet users in India, which equates to barely 5% of India's Web3 users. We're going to learn about the community. We're going to work with local folks, figure out where we can add value, he added. More interesting news as the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC has postponed its decisions on six applications for spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds ETFs. According to SEC filings dated back in August 31st, the commission has designated a longer period in which it may review spot Bitcoin ETF applications from Wisdom Tree, Van Eck, Invesco Galaxy, Bitwise, and Valier as well as Wise Origin Bitcoin trusted proposed by Fidelity. The SEC will have another 45 days upon publication in the Federal Register to consider the proposed rule changes allowing listing of the investment vehicles, giving the regulator until October to approve, deny or delay a decision. The delays followed speculation that the SEC could approve a spot Bitcoin ETF in the US for the first time after the commission lost a crucial court case brought by asset manager Grayscale. To close off the news today, the Blockchain Association of Kenya, BAK, has filed a petition to challenge the legality of digital assets tax debt, which is meant to commence today, the 1st of September. The core focus of the petition is to thoroughly examine the legal and constitutional dimensions surrounding the imposition of this tax on digital assets. That's according to S.A. Kakai, BAC's legal and policy director. According to Kakai, the association will appear in court on the 28th of September for the mention of their interim application. The digital assets tax was introduced in the country's 2023 Finance Act. The act imposes 3% tax of the transfer or exchange value of digital assets. According to the Act, digital assets refer to anything of value that is not tangible and cryptocurrencies, tax code, token code, number held in digital form and generated through 
cryptographic means or otherwise by whatever name called providing a digital representation of value exchanged with or without consideration that can be transferred, stored or exchanged electronically and a non fungible token NFTs or any other token of similar nature by whatever name called. Finally on blockchain events to come, Digital Asset Summit 2023. The most awaited event in the blockchain and digital asset space, Digital Asset Summit 2023, is set to take place on the 6th and 7th of September 2023. Hosted at the prestigious NAF Conference Center in Abuja, Nigeria, this two-day summit promises to be a groundbreaking event that will bring together industry leaders, policy makers, investors, and enthusiasts from across the globe. The Digital Asset Summit 2023 is brought to you by SIBIN, stakeholders in Blockchain Technology Association of Nigeria, and is proud to announce its esteemed partners who are at the forefront of shaping the future of blockchain technology in Africa, which include National Information Technology Development Agency, NITDA, Zebic, and Coinex. Be there. Korea Blockchain Week 2023, founded by Fact Block and co-hosted by Hushid, the annual Korea Blockchain Week returns for the sixth year. Korea Blockchain Week brings together the brightest minds in the industry to discuss, redefine, and celebrate the future of finance. The action-packed cryptocurrency and blockchain gala features keynote speeches in industry heavyweights, panel discussions by world-renowned experts, and networking opportunities for investors and cryptocurrency enthusiasts. The conference will take place from the 4th to the 9th of September 2023 with the main event, Korea Blockchain Week, Impact, running from September 5th to 6th at the Sheila Shul, the primary venue of the gathering. And that's it for the weekly news updates here on Crypto TV Plus. For more markets, updates, and all the happenings captured in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, visit our website, CryptoTVPlus.com. And also follow us on our social media platforms, Facebook and X at Crypto TV Plus, on Instagram and threads at Official Crypto TV Plus to get daily fun our programs. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on notification button as well. And just in case you have questions regarding any of our videos at all, join me in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. I'm Nikki Ashini, and I'll see you next time.